Hello everyone and welcome to the Quampedia Explains Trading Strategies video series. Today we will discuss front running trading strategies. Hello everyone, my name is Radan Vodko, I'm CEO and I have research at uh, Quampedia. Today we will have an interesting topic, uh, we will discuss the front running and what's the impact of the front running on uh, prices of individual assets and I mean how we can profit from the front running ourselves. We have an interesting article on our blog. It's called ETF Rebalancing and Hedge Fund Front Running uh, Trades. The article is based on a paper from Wang Yao and Yerle Kenova and it's about how hedge funds try to understand uh, when and how the ETFs rebalance their portfolios and how they try to front run those portfolios. Firstly, the ETFs are mainly the baskets of uh, underlying stocks. It can be from the same industry or sector or have the same market capitalization, so that they can be the thematic. The hedge funds as a professional investors, they are trying to understand, I mean, how are the portfolios built in the ETFs. And because the ETFs are systematic in the most of the cases, they have some predetermined days when the portfolio is rebalanced. It can be monthly, it can be yearly, it can be quarterly, but I mean, they are rebalanced, I mean, repeatedly and probably at the same uh, same time. What are the hedge funds trying to do is that they are trying to front run those ETFs. So they are trying to buy the stocks that they expect the ETFs will buy. At the day of the rebalancing, they can sell those uh, stocks to the ETF. And I mean, this way they can earn an arbitrage profit. The question is, uh, what is the impact? The paper shows that the impact is significant and is not a small one. I mean, usually it's around one or two percent of the ETF performance, which is lost in this case. So, I mean, that's, uh, that's basically the negative characteristic of the ETF. So when the ETF has a uh, exact date when it rebalances, you as an ETF investor, you are basically paying the cost because the hedge funds will try to front run the ETF during the rebalancing. We can do that ourselves too. So if we have the wish, we can acquire the data about the ETF flows. Uh, we can, uh, I mean, check what is the strategy, how is the index constructed in the ETF. And we can try to front run the ETF by ourselves. And we can try to get this abnormal profit for ourselves. So, I mean, if we are investors, I mean, it doesn't make sense always to hold the ETFs. Sometimes we can hold the portfolio of the stocks and we can selectively buy and sell the stocks that we expect the ETF will buy and we can get and join the hedge funds. I mean, the, the paper is uh, quite fine and explains how, uh, how it is possible to do that and it uh, calculates uh, what is the cost of for the ETFs, I mean, that are front run. I mean, what is the negative cost actually and what is the plus or minus gain from the hedge funds that are trying to do that. So, I mean, the ETF transparency is not always the positive case. So, we, I mean, it's great when the ETFs are transparent because you know what you are buying in mind. I mean, what the ETF is buying and when it holds it. So the strategy is transparent, but on the other hand, because of the transparency of the ETFs, they have some costs because there are other market participants who will try to use that information. But this is not just one article. The other one is uh, the S&P 500 index effect in continuous time. So this is the paper that's relatively old, but it's a paper about how it is possible to try to trade index S&P 500 index additions and deletion, I mean, the deletions. So it's possible to try to guess what the S&P 500 index will contain in the future. So how will the composition of S&P 500 change in the future? And you can selectively try to buy those stocks uh, before the S&P committee will do the rebalancing of the portfolio. And once again, you can try to profit from that idea. And another interesting paper is uh, from running the S&P 500 GSCI index. S&P 500 is, not, is not, not the only index. There are a lot of the other indexes. So one of them is uh, S&P uh, GSCI, which is commodity index. And once again, uh, there is an interesting paper which uh, shows the strategy that you can each November find out what will be the new weights of the GSCI index because I mean in November those new weights are uh, transparently stated. And in January the GSCI index rebalances. So at the close of the fifth business day in January we can go short the commodities that will increase in the weights in the index and we can buy the commodities that we expect that will increase in the weight. I mean, the position is covered at the end of the 10th business day in January. So, I mean, this is the time when the GSI index uh, is rebalanced. And I mean, we can also capture some profit from uh, from the rebalancing. The paper is here, so you can download the paper, you can read about the paper. So these are just a few examples how the uh, indexes, they are very transparent. So uh, that show what, what is the weighting and when the index is rebalanced, etc., etc are front run by the market participants. When you are the investor, it's important to know there exists this uh, uh, this kind of the effect. 
So it's important to understand that when you hold a DTF or when you hold the index, any other asset, I mean, can be derivative or anything like that. Uh, it is important to understand that there are market participants that know when the index is rebalanced because, I mean, the index is very transparent or the asset is very transparent or an instrument is very transparent and they will try to profit from this rebalancing. I mean, it's good to know about that. And when you are a trader, it's good to understand that there are such vehicles that are transparent and you can try to profit from them. You can check the papers, you can check when the index is rebalancing and you can try to profit from, from the rebalancing. So, thank you very much for your attention. I hope that you liked three papers that I presented to you. I mean, once again, two of them are in uh, one PDA premium uh, with, the, with the back test and one of them is on our blog. The description of the papers will be in the description of this video, so you can read them by yourself. And uh, I hope that you will subscribe to our channel if you want to learn something about quantitative trading. Give us the like and I hope that I will see you in the next video. So, thank you very much uh, for your attention. Are you interested? Then pick another video to learn more or subscribe to Quantpedia Pro and try how our analytics and reporting significantly save time spent on quantitative research.